প্রার্থনা করতেছি তাইলে আমি প্রার্থনা করি আসুন প্রার্থনা করি প্রার্থনা করি সরকারের মন্ত্রে ধন্যবাদ করি তোমাকে ধন্যবাদ জানাই আজকে এই আমাদের যে বাইবেল সেশন আজকে শুরু করতে যাচ্ছি একটি সপ্তাহ পর আবারও আমরা সেই বাজারের মাধ্যম দিয়ে আমরা অনেক কিছু শিখছি প্রতিনিধি সপ্তাহে এবং তোমাকে ধন্যবাদ জানাই যে আমরা একত্রিত হতে পারি প্রতি সপ্তাহে এবং তোমার গৌরব প্রশংসা হোক আমাদের এই যে জুমের মাধ্যম দিয়ে যা কিছু শিখি এই সময়টাই যেন ভালোভাবে আমরা সেটা শিখতে পারি যদিও সেই ইংলিশ ভাষা অনেক সময় দেখা যায় যে আমরা বুঝতে পারি না আর দুই একটা বিষয় আর সেটা তুমি বোঝার ক্ষমতা দাও যেন আমরা সেই জ্ঞানে পরিপূর্ণ হতে পারি এবং বুঝতে পারি তোমার গৌরব প্রশংসা করতে পারি আহ তোমাকে ধন্যবাদ জানাই সর্বোপরি মঙ্গল করো তাদেরকে আশ্বাদ করো তিনি যেন ভালো বোঝাতে পারেন প্রার্থনা করি আমি পবিত্র আত্মা যেন আমাদেরকে সাহায্য করে প্রত্যেককে বুঝতে এবং শিখতে সব বিষয়ে মঙ্গল করো এই প্রার্থনা পবিত্র নামে করে জ্ঞাতা করো আমেন আমেন Amen. 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 So, praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Amen. our Bible study. Actually, this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is uh, already the fourth or the fifth. I think the fifth fifth time that we are meeting and uh, we are in lesson number four. So, yeah. So, this is the fifth. And uh, <clears throat> welcome, everyone. My name is uh, Pastor Aldrin. And uh, I'm only the facilitator here in our Bible study. But of course, the, the great teacher is none other than our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And uh, this evening, we're going to talk about... <coughs> excuse me. You Can you see in your screen uh, this... Uh, I'm sharing my desktop. It says lesson number four. Can you see that? Yes, yes. Pastor. Okay. So tonight, uh, yeah, tonight, it's evening there already, right? So tonight, we're going to discuss about receiving God's gift, a new heart. Remember, uh, last week, last week we discussed about, in the lesson three, we discussed about this, okay? Uh, we came to know that, that people, humans, are sinners. And then, and we came to know in lesson three that, God gave a solution for our sin. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ's death and <clears throat> resurrection. And now here in our lesson 4, after we have come to know that the solution for the sinners or the sin is the Lord Jesus Christ's death and resurrection, now we are going to lesson 4 wherein, <clears throat> excuse me, we are going to <clears throat> discuss about receiving God's gift or receiving God's gift, which is a new heart. So let me read. It says here in our in your screen, <clears throat> as a result of receiving God's sacrifice through the Lord Jesus Christ as the payment for our sins. <clears throat> Do you believe that, my brothers and sisters, that the Lord Jesus yes. Christ uh, has paid for our sins? Yes, Pastor. Yes. yes. <clears throat> because in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, was, what does it say? It says that for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, meaning everyone has sinned. Okay? it uh, Including myself. <clears throat> all is a sinner. But praise be to God, because of our Lord Jesus Christ, no, uh, that the the payment for our sin has been uh, paid by our Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because if you go to Romans chapter six verse twenty three, what does it says? It says, "For the wages of sin is death." So meaning, for sinners there is a wage that needs to be paid. There is a penalty, right? If you are uh, let let takes. Let's say, for example, if you violated a law, okay, then you have to pay for that violation, for that penalty. <clears throat> so in sin, when we violate God's law, we have to pay. And what is the, the penalty? The penalty is death, meaning death of ourself, right? Now, because uh, God so loved us, <clears throat> he didn't allow us to die. 
but instead he sent uh, our Lord Jesus Christ to die for our sins. So in short, our payment, the wages of our sin, the payment, the penalty for our sin has been repaid by our Lord Jesus Christ. So that's why we are reading, we are reading tonight. It says, as a result of receiving God's sacrifice through Jesus Christ. So God sacrifices for all, but it is not automatic. There is a condition. The condition is you must believe. If you don't believe, if you don't put your faith, then the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not receive it. Right? The Lord Jesus Christ died for everyone. Right? Died for Filipinos, died for Bangladesh. Bangladeshi died for Nepalis, for Indians, for even for Arabic, uh, Buddhist, Muslim, for, for whoever. He died for all. But only those who will put their faith and trust and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, only them will truly receive the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, then your, your sin has been paid. Now, in our lesson for today, tonight, it says, as a result of receiving God's grace, God's sacrifice through the Lord Jesus Christ as the payment for our sins, we not only experience forgiveness from the past, but are also given a new heart and a new life as God's children. That's the good thing about it. We, we not only receive forgiveness, but we also have been given a new heart and a new life being God's children. Do you understand? Can you translate that, uh, Brother Ash? No, Pastor. No need translation, huh? Yeah. They understand. Okay. Now, let's go to our question number one. Pardon Please it. open your Bible in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse uh, 26. Here you can see this verse. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, verses 26. And please, can someone read from your uh, language, from your Bible? Of course, Ar ami tomadi goke notun ridai divo, o tomader antore notun atta istapon koribo. Ami tomader manshoite Amen. Okay. So, thank you, Brother James. Now, question, Brother James. What did God promise he would give? So, based from Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26, what did God promise that he would give? Hmm? Come again. Okay. Uh, <coughs> he will give. Uh, then. Uh, sorry. Mm. So based from the the Bible verse that you the the passage that you read <clears throat> brother James it says there that God <clears throat> promises to give you a new heart right yes. one he will, you will give you a new, heart. new heart and a new spirit yes and a new spirit so what is that a new heart and a new spirit why do you need a new heart, brother James? Yeah, yeah. yeah? Yes. Why? Your your heart has a problem. <laughs> you have heart problem? No, no. 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 But but the Bible says that our heart is deceitful, right? The in our heart yeah. there is too much evil, evil desires. So that's why yeah, yeah. God promises that He will give us a new heart, meaning He will change our heart. And also, he will give us a new spirit, right? He will give us a new spirit, a new spirit which is submissive to our God. No, you understand? Yeah, I understand. Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> Any question so far? No question. Brother. Okay. So now let's go to number two. Can we read Ephesians chapter two, verse four to six in your language? This verse. Ephesians okay. chapter two, verse four to six. I think it's I. ईश्वर दयाधने धनबान बलिया अपन जे महाप्रेमे के प्रेम कर तत्प्रजुक्त मृत के ख्रीटर सहित जीवित करुग्रह तुम्हरा परित्राण पाइवी ख्रीट जीशुते ताहार सहित उठाइल और ताहार सहित कृषि ताहार सहित स्वर्ग स्थान बसाल उद्देश्य ख्रीट जीशुते प्रदर्शित फ्रम दाइबल बर्स दैट यू रेड सो वट दस इट से वट दस गैट डू वेन वेन हि रेस्क्यूज एस फ्रम आवर uh state of spiritual death meaning before we were uh separated from our lord jesus christ separated from god so what did he do what does god do this is the question what does god do when he rescues us ईश्वर दयाधने दनबान बलिया अपन जो महाप्रेम प्रेम कर मध्य दिए जीवित हलम विषय विषय जे जीवित कर अनुग्रह तुम्हारा परित्राण पाइस उठाइल जीवित कर the answer okay okay uh, actually pastor babu uh, yeah. he will ask about uh, 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 pastor apni yeah. ekta sankipto kore bolen amake ami bolbo ar sankipto kore bolen dui ek kothay acha sankipto ei tai apni jeta bolchen ashole ami oi bhabe thik bakker aloke bujhte parteci na ami jeta bujhteci je 
দয়া ধনে ধনবান বলিয়া আপনার যে মহাপ্রেমে আমাদিগকে প্রেম করিলেন তৎপ্রযুক্ত আমাদিগকে এমন কি অপরাধে মৃত আমাদিগকে খ্রিস্টের সহিত জীবিত করিলেন মানে আমরা যে পাপি এই পাপ থেকে তার দয়ার মধ্য দিয়েই আমরা মুক্ত হয়েছি এবং এই পাপ থেকে পাপে আমরা মৃত ছিলাম কিন্তু তার দয়ার মধ্য দিয়ে তার প্রেমের মধ্য দিয়ে আমরা জীবিত হলাম পাপ থেকে মুক্ত হলাম কিছু বলছেন আপনি কাইন্ডলি গড মিন্সারে means we are separated from god yes right when, when christ died for us he made us alive in christ meaning now we are near to god we are not anymore separated but we are near to god because of our lord jesus yes, christ yes, yes. then when he when he raised <clears throat> when he raised mean after dying he didn't remain dead correct he rose from the dead he became alive So when the Lord Jesus Christ became alive he also make made us alive because before we are dead to sin and now we are alive in Christ right okay so, yeah. that's what the uh, passage is telling us that we are we are now alive in Christ no even Even uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, of course, we all know He is coming. There is a second coming. But God said that if you read the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10, He said, I have come to give them life, full and abundant. You know? So meaning, okay. it, it doesn't mean the second coming, but it means now. Even now, we can have a life full and abundant. Meaning not, not, uh, not, abundant of material but even if we are we, we are having trial we can experience joy through our lord jesus christ through our faith in him right <clears throat> yes any question okay mm. so if you don't have question no, <coughs> no question. let's no go question. To... <clears throat> okay let's read The book of John, this verse. Chapter 1, verse 12 to 13. Let's read. Wow. Book of John, chapter 1, verse 12 to 13. In your language. You're there? কিন্তু যত লোক তাহাকে গ্রহণ করিল সেই সকলকে যাহারা তাহার নামে বিশ্বাস করে তাহাদিগকে তিনি ঈশ্বরের সন্তান ক্ষমতা দিলেন তাহারা রক্ত হইতে নয় মাংসের ইচ্ছা হইতে নয় মানুষের ইচ্ছা হইতে নয় কিন্তু ঈশ্বর হইতে যাত আমেন হোয়াট হ্যাপেন্স ওয়েন উই রিসিভ 
Jesus as our Lord and Savior. So, what does happen? What did the Bible tell us in John chapter 1, verse 12 to 13? <clears throat> Actually, oh, yeah, Pastor, I, I could say something about it, about you. Uh, Actually, when uh receive when we receive uh, Jesus Christ in our heart, mm. then uh, our Lord mm. He gave us a right of Son uh, of God Amen. because we are yes. we are believe Jesus Christ and who are believe Jesus Christ and take their heart uh, Jesus Christ. They are uh, get right. Mm. Uh, got some. Mm. So uh, here, uh, here is the important uh, word. It uh, word uh, that is. Uh, it is uh, we are son of God. Yes. That is uh, important. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, who is that, brother Pobitro? Pobitro Sarkar. That's correct, brother Pobitro. So, what happened when we receive the Lord Jesus as our Lord and Savior? It says that we have been given a right. You know what right means? Right means uh, it's like a uh, huh? Odikar. Odikar, right? Right. Yeah. Right to mean the children of God. Yeah. Mm. So now you are a ch ch child of God. No, right? So the Bible says in John chapter 1, verse 12 13, if we receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, what what happens? We receive or we have now the right as a child of God. Meaning you're not an ordinary person anymore, right? right. You're not an yeah. ordinary person anymore. You are a, a child of God. You know? Amen. Amen. So that's what the Bible is telling us. So that's why we have to put our faith and trust in, in, in those uh, passages. That truly we are, the moment we receive the Lord Jesus Christ, we believe, we put our faith and trust in Him, we receive Him, as our Lord and Savior of our life, the Bible says that from that instance, we receive the right to become a children of God. Then you are a child of God, right? Like, right. Do, you have, do you have your own children? If you have your own children, you love your children, right? Now, yes. now that you have been, you have become a child of God, a children of God, Think how you love your children. And now that you are a child of God, means you are a children of God, then the God loves you. Right? Like you love your children, God loves you. So he takes care yeah. of you. Right? Yes. Right. But yeah. take, taking care of you means disciplining you also. If you are doing wrong, he will discipline you. Right? Yes. Right. But if you are doing the right thing, if you are doing the good thing, then he will not discipline you. He will love you. He will bless you. Right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> now let's go to, let's read this verse. John chapter 3, verse 3 to 7. Can someone uh, read John chapter 3, verse 3 to 7 in your language? Hmm. What happened to Brother Ashes? I didn't hear Brother Ashes anymore. Are you still there, Brother Ashes? Okay. So can we read the, the book of John? Here, I highlighted it. The book of John, chapter 3, verses 3 to 7. Can we read it in your language? Jishu Uttor Korea Take Koilen Shoto Shoto Amitomake Bolitesi Notun John Mona Hoile Keho Ishare Rajo Dekite Paina Nikodim Take Koilen Munusho Bito Hoile 
কেমন করিয়া তাহার জন্ম হইতে পারে সে কি দ্বিতীয়বার মাতার গর্ভে প্রবেশ করিয়া জন্মিতে পারে যিশুর উত্তর করিলেন সত্য সত্য আমি তোমাকে বলিতেছি যদি কেহ জল ও আত্মা হইতে না জন্মে তবে সে ঈশ্বরের রাজ্য প্রবেশ করিতে পারে না মাংস হইতে যাহা জাত তাহা মাংসই আর আত্মা হইতে যাহা জাত তাহা আত্মাই আমি যে তোমাকে বলিলাম তোমাদের নতুন জন্ম হওয়ার আবশ্যক ইহাতে আচার্য জ্ঞান করিও না আমেন right thank you uh, who is that brother james. james 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 i understand uh, okay thank you for reading the passage um so the question from the passage that we read <laughs> this is the question what did jesus say must happen before we can enter the kingdom of god so what must happen what must happen before we can enter the kingdom of god okay understand one ah ke bolte chan ashle ki ko na korle amra shorge dite parbo na ei poder aloke ki bolche jesu christo ta seta to bolte hobe jodi ko bolte chan bolle notun jonmo hoyte hobe আত্মা এবং জলে ওকে but born of water and spirit so what does that mean okay so uh for example uh, brother pobitro you once upon a time you were born okay. right yes sure you didn't you didn't grow like a plant you didn't instantly come out right so you yeah, have yeah. a father and you have a mother and then once upon a time you were born right like me i was born also yeah. right i was born april 21 so just like that we were born <laughs> now the lord jesus christ is uh you must be we must be born again before we can enter the kingdom of god okay. so what does that mean nicodemus nicodemus was saying how how is that possible now if you look at me now you can see me in your screen <laughs> If you look at me now I'm very big now. Can, can I yes. go to my mother? Not possible. I'm bigger uh, than my mother now, no? So it's not yes. possible. Right? So what is the Lord Jesus Christ saying being born again? So that means he is saying not born being born again physically but yeah. being born again of spirit. <laughs> Meaning because before when we sin what happened no we get separated from god meaning our spirit it has been dead and now that same spirit need to be born again right mm. it's to be yeah, yeah. <laughs> excuse me it needs to be regenerated okay 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 what the lord jesus christ is saying so the lord jesus christ is saying that anyone anyone they need i i mean everyone they need to be born again to enter the kingdom of god means there yes. need to be regenerated because if your spirit is not regenerated like see for example i give you an example in philippines okay in my country in my country yeah. you will see so many people they know if you ask them you know lord jesus they will say yes they know They, okay you will ask do you know god they will say yes so they know but their spirit is not regenerated right? okay okay their spirit is not regenerated that's why if I you see here it says born of water and spirit and what spirit. water means here water does not mean water baptism okay water means from the word because the word the word is like water 
You know, it's like water cleaning us. Now, if you read the book of John, it says, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Meaning it is the word of God who is cleaning us. Why? Because the word of God is telling us this is right, this is wrong. Okay. Right, this is wrong. So from there, we are being clean. Right? We are being okay. clean. So through that, once we receive the word, once we receive the word, then we are being clean and then our spirit is being regenerated. That's why the Lord Jesus Christ is saying, no one will be able to enter the kingdom of God if they are not born again. No? So they must. When we say must, it means it's mandatory, required. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Any questions so far? Uh, any no, questions? I have, any? I I have no uh, questions. Okay. So if you don't have question, we will move to the next one, number five. Okay. <clears throat> so in number five, we have several passages. Okay. We have John chapter one, first Peter, and first John. Now, from here, we will see in the following passages, we will see what does it tell us about being born again or being born of God. No, we will see. <laughs> from these passages, what does it tell us about being a born again Christian? Right? Are you yes. a born again Christian? Let me ask you: Are you born again Christian? Uh, we are sure. already. Yeah, yes. you are right. You are, you are a born again Christian, because. You have you you are a believer of Christ, and you are yeah. you are uh, basically what we are doing. We are studying the words of God, and through the words of God, we are we are coming to know what is the truth, and through that, we are um we are being cleansed. Remember the word the the word of the Lord Jesus Christ in the book of John, chapter fourteen, verse six. He said, "I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me." Meaning. It is only through the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what we're doing uh, tonight. No? We're studying His words. So now, <clears throat> in this passage, yes, we will see what the passage or what the verse tells us about being born again. Okay? First, okay. let's uh, go to book of John chapter 1 verse uh, uh, chapter one, verse 12 to 13. <laughs> I think we read this already, but let's read it again. Book of John, chapter 1, verse 12 to 13. Okay. John, that Popor Bishash Kore, Take Gron Kolo, that the Puteke Tini, Ishare Shantan Havar Odigar Dilen, a loke there, John Morocco, Take Hoini, Sharidik Kamona Bapusher Bashna, Take Hoini. Kintu Ishwar Teke Hoise. Amen. Amen. So, what does it say? Again, it, it, this is the same that we discussed already, right? We are given yes, yes. right as the children of God. So when, of God. when we are born of born again or born of God, basically born again is also the same as being born of God, right? So before when I was born, I was born of my mother, of my parents. Now, when I became born again, I'm born of God. Right? right. Yes. So, right. because I'm born of God, now I'm a child of God. Before, I'm born of my mother, I'm born of my parents, so I'm a child of my parents. Now, I'm born yes. of God, so I'm a child of God. You understand? Yes. Okay, I understand. Oh. Yes. So, that's why you are a child of God. You are a children of God. Now let's go to 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23. Let's read 1 Peter. Okay. Can you point? Verse 23. I'm not going to say this. Okay. 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 She beach holo is sure a jibonto or chirostai baku. 
Amen. So what Amen. does it tell you? What does the passage tells you in First Peter chapter one verse twenty three? Same uh, same subject, same things. Uh, we uh, see that this of uh, music. We born as music. Mm. <clears throat> so it is saying that we are not born of perishable. You know what is perishable? Uh, perishable. Sorry, perishable. <laughs> For example, for example, you know, uh, fruits. If you buy fruits, right? Yes, yes. And, and if you buy fruit, after some time, it will expire. Yes. Right. Uh, after yes, some time, right. it will expire. After some time, it will be spoiled. You cannot eat it. Why? Because it is perishable. Means it perish. It, it will die. No? But now that we are born of God, we are born again. No, because now we are born again. We are born imperishable. Imperishable means we will not perish anymore. No, that's why John chapter 3, verse 16 says, uh, we will receive eternal life. No, John chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Meaning once we became born again, we are imperishable, right? Imperishable means maybe if, <clears throat> like for example, if me, my my physical body after some time will die, but my spirit, my soul will live on. When the, 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 the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will be raised to life again in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is what is going to happen. <laughs> to all of us, right? <clears throat> we are not perishable anymore, but we are imperishable. You understand? Yes, I understand. Okay, that, that's what it means there in 1 Peter 1 23. And then let's read 1 John chapter 3, verse 9. Yeah. 1 John chapter 3, verse 9. I mean, but Kuri, Jekeho Ishur Hoyte Jato. She papochoron korena karon tahar birjo tahar ontore thake ebong she pap korite parena karon ishwar hoite jato amen 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 so what does it tells us in first john chapter 3 verse 9 being a born again christian Uh, can I answer? Yeah, you can. Can answer. I give answer? Yeah, you can yes, answer, brother. Oh, uh, actually, mm. uh, those who are uh, God's children do not continue mm. to sin. Yes, that's because, right. Uh, mm. We are both new, uh, new, uh, born. Yeah. Again. Yes. And we uh, we was sinner, but Jesus Christ forgive us. Mm. And we, when we take Jesus Christ in our heart, we got salvation. Mm. So it is important, and we we tell, we got new life. Mm. <clears throat> That's good. Good answer, Brother Pubitro. That's a complete answer. So in summary, means if we become born again Christian, means we will not continue sinning, right? Yeah. So how you will know if you are if you are really a born again Christian, if you are really born of God, you will now stop sinning. If before yes. before you you before you know before me, when I sin, it's like normal. Right? If I do sin, it's normal. I don't ask for forgiveness, nothing. I don't feel I don't feel guilty, nothing. Right? Yes. But now I'm a I'm a born again. I'm born of God. If I sin, really it it's convicting me. I don't feel good if I sin. Because I don't continue <sighs> in sinning. I, I will ask for forgiveness. If sometimes 
See, I'm not saying I am perfect. No one, no one is perfect. Bible says everyone is a sinner, right? That, that is included. Yes, yes. I am, I am a sinner. No one is perfect. Yeah. So at some time I'm I'm also still sinning. But the difference is before when I'm not a born again, before when I sin, uh, you know the word kaliwali. It's like never mind. I don't I don't bother. If I sin, I don't bother. I don't I can sleep at night. But now that I'm a born again, if I sin, it bothers me a lot. You know? So what do I do? I ask for forgiveness. And that's the only time I will feel peace in me. Because <laughs> as a born again, we don't continue sinning anymore. And that's how you will know that you are really a born again. That you are really now born of God if you don't continue on sinning. If you sin, you will feel that conviction, right? To stop sinning. Yeah. Understand? Okay. Yes, understand. Okay. So, again, let's read the First John chapter four, verse seven. Can we read in your language? Set box na ako sa kung paan. Paan? Porchi, priyo shanta nera. Ah, amra jano. একে অন্যকে ভালোবাসি কারণ ভালোবাসা ঈশ্বরের কাছ থেকেই আসে যাদের অন্তরে ভালোবাসা আছে ঈশ্বর থেকেই তাদের জন্ম হয়েছে এবং তারা ঈশ্বরকে জানে আমেন আমেন সো হোয়াট ডাস দা বাইবেল টেল আস when we become born again in first john 4:7 the apne bolte paren Who uh, we should love uh, each other mm. and uh, love comes from God mm. and we need to love each other mm. and keep on the day I thought you will have me that we're on today yeah they're not a bad of a shot to you should take it at a John Moet Mm. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, they have uh, loves in their heart. Mm. They, they are no they are God. Because mm. God is love. Yes. That's good. So, <clears throat> now we are born again. We can love one another because love comes from God. <laughs> yes. Because... Because the source of our love comes from God. That's why we can love one another. Mm. See, uh, like Brother Pubitro. Do I know you? I don't know you. But I love you with the love of the Lord, with the love of God. Uh, Brother Ashis. Yes. Uh, personally, I don't know all of you. Bro uh, Sister Ria, Sister Deepa, Pastor Babul, Brother James, Brother Porno. See, I don't know you personally, right? But we are here talking to each other and studying. Why? Because there is love for one another, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because it is. This is a love. Love comes from God. Yes, love comes from God. Why do you want to attend the Bible study? Because of me? No, because of God. Because you want to know God. Because you want to know the Lord Jesus, right? That's why we attend the yes. Bible study. Amen. And what is driving Amen. us to do this? It's the love of God, right? What's driving yeah. you to do your ministry there in Bangladesh when you share the gospel, when you share to to the people, especially to those without the relationship? What is driving you to do that? Your love for them, your love for other people, right? Because yes, that love is coming from God. That that love is. Uh, Uh, God is putting that love inside you in your heart, right? 
Yes. That's what it is. Okay. So now let's move to uh, question number six. Can we read the uh, Second Corinthians, the book of Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse seventeen? I'm part Kuri, follow to Keho to the Christian Hake, Tobe Notun Sisti Hoilo, Puraton Bishoguli, Otituyace, the Hosheguli Notun Hoya, Utiace, Er Ebaka Logi Mulje Bishota, a Shetiology Notun Sisti, Ishore Sisti Kari, Adesher Pole. যারা খ্রিস্ট যিশুকে বিশ্বাসে গ্রহণ করে তারা একটি নতুন সৃষ্টিতে পরিণত হয় ও সম্পূর্ণ সম্পূর্ণ একটি নতুন আত্মিক রাজ্যে প্রবেশ করে যেখানে পবিত্র আত্মা রাজত্ব করে আমেন আমেন সো व्हाट्स योर आंसर পাসর বাবুল উই আর First of all, uh, answer din. Mm. Oh, like, ane kibo sen. Kisi the bichay guloni hai. Ada poi tro oni the answer diye se already. Yeah, apni shudh bangla English pore dal. Ye kisi the khate jukto se no tum jor mo pappe hoye se. Okay, okay. Uh, actually, but uh, he tell us mm. when anyone in uh, Christ. Uh, it is a uh, new world, mm. and uh, the old things are gone, mm. and suddenly everything is new because yeah. uh, we are uh, in Christ. Yes, that's true. That that is what the Bible is saying. You are now a new creation. The old is gone, and yeah. the new must come. Now let me tell you. Uh, for example, uh, brother Pubitro. Or no, not not brother. Let let me make myself as an example, okay? So okay. look at my look at my face. Can you see my face in your screen? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yes. When I became born again, did, did my face change? It's same, right? It's it is same. So physically, no change. <clears throat> Yes. But the Bible is saying that I am now a new creation. <clears throat> How is that possible? I will tell you, okay? Before, yes. <clears throat> before I am not a born again Christian. In the when, when I am in the Philippines, what I do? I drink. I'm a drunkard, you know. I drink uh, alcohol. I gamble. <laughs> yeah, I gamble. Before that was when I was I'm not I'm not a born again Christian. I gamble, like uh, all bad things I do. I I also my mouth also is always cussing, right? <clears throat> so my friends, my friends, they always see me like this. Okay, they know how how I'm doing. And now that I became a born again Christian. Now that I'm a born again, I'm not doing that anymore, right? And now they will see me. I'm not gambling. I'm not uh, saying this bad language. I'm not uh, doing bad things, right? I'm not stealing. When they see me, they will think, this guy is Aldrin. This is not Aldrin. Aldrin is a gambler, right? Aldrin is a part drinking alcohol but this guy is not not aldrin meaning i am changed now right yes that's why in that sense we became we became a new creation so <clears throat> we become a new creation when when we live out our faith right you understand yes, yes brother. remember when you were before and what you are now that's the new creation because you are living now according to your faith. The old is gone, the old the Aldrin is gone, and the new Aldrin is gone. 
physically I'm the same. But because I have a new heart, I have a new spirit, so the old is gone and the new has come. Understand? Yes, yes. I understand. Okay, very good. So now let's go to number seven. This is our last passage in First John chapter 5, verse 4. Can we read the book of First John 1, John chapter 5, verse 4? That looks the also go for so what does it say? Our destiny? What yes. is the destiny of those who are born of God? It's our faith. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so our destiny is we are destined to overcome the world. Right? Overcome the world, right. Joy love. Yes. The world. To overcome the world. What is in the world? In the world, there is sin. In the world, yes. there is yeah. problem. In the world, there is trial. Right? In, in the world, there is so many bad things. But because we are born of God, then we are destined. Absolutely. Our destiny, our future is we will overcome all of that. Meaning we will overcome, we will go above that. We will be able to come out victorious, right? Yes. That's the destiny of those who are born of God. Oh, Amen? God. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Oh. Okay, I understand. Okay. So what do you do if someone could offer you a brand new start in life? Have you received God's life? So this question actually is for is for uh, uh if there is if there are new christian right if there are new new christian for example if you have a bible study and then there is uh, someone new who will attend your bible study this is what you will ask what you will do if someone can offer you a brand new start in life right and then you will ask him how you receive god's gift of new life but this we will not do because you are all born again christian here Okay. okay. So, brothers, are there any questions? Ask and Haiti, not on the motion for case. You have any question? No, Pastor. No, Pastor. Okay. How about Brother Ashi? I didn't hear Brother Ashit much today. Yes, yes. You're quiet today, uh, Brother Ashit. <clears throat> yes. Today but I also sound busy. Ubitro is uh, doing all the translation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's good. It's good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, praise the Lord. Our this is this will be our bible study for today and uh so brothers and sisters what i'm doing is i will tell you uh, let me close this one <clears throat> tell me if you can see my screen right you can still see my screen. yes so what i'm doing <clears throat> this our bible study you can see here no in our youtube i'm putting it here right our bible yes. study I'm putting it here. So the purpose, so that if you want to, <clears throat> if you want to go back, right? If you want to go back to with our previous discussion, you can go back. You can go to this, and then you can, uh, you can make a review. This is also, for example, if you're going to, basically, what we are discussing. Uh, if you are. Uh, one minute, let me open the Bible again. What we are discussing here, if you're going to, to do your own Bible study, you can actually use this as your Bible study as well. Right? So, <clears throat> I will just uh, give the link to Brother Ashi so that if you want to review, you can review. Okay? Okay, so 
that's it brothers and sisters brethren if you don't have any more question uh, we can uh, we can end here and then we will continue again next week next tuesday right okay, yes. okay. So, thank you so maybe we can you can lead us in prayer Please, someone lead us in prayer. Thank you, Pastor. 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 Is not one of the Nova Korean. The sheet from the Jibon to her activity. I'm a little ticket shy house. I'm a little bit it's the Lord. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. See you again. See you again. Uh, see you again. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, see you. See you again next uh, Tuesday. There was a good teaching for us. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you.